up YouTube, this your boy down low back for another industry talk. First, let's talk about producer infamous. He's suing the game for a hundred thousand dollars for unauthorized use of a beat off of that California Republic mixtape. The song in which this is is that skate on featuring Lupe Fiasco. And you know, you can expect a lot more of this in the future. See, people's eyes are open. You can go after these guys if they use your music on a free mixtape now. Even though we are a long ways away from actually hearing a verdict in the whole Mac Miller case, that's not going to stop people from going ahead and getting others right now. See, a lot of people don't know who Infamous is, but Infamous puts in fucking work. He's a Grammy Award winner. He charges twenty to twenty-five thousand dollars per beat. Now, how he got up to a hundred thousand dollars in damages? I do not know. Pending these cases, man, the mixtape game is going to fucking change. And this goes for both instrumentals and original music. In which this beat is an original work that Infamous gave to the game to see how he sounds on it, but he did not give him permission to use it in the mixtape. So here again, the producer can win this. Only time is going to tell. Next on some drop dates like Meek Mill's album got pushed back to October. Also Wiz Khalifa's album got pushed back to September in which these are no surprises to me man. You never believe the early drop dates. You never believe drop dates at all. Only believe the promotion and when you see that shit in the stores. Next, Rick Ross's album God Forgives But I Don't is projected to easily be the number one album on the Billboard chart, selling over 200,000 albums in the first week. And you know that is a good showing if these numbers are accurate, but they usually flex up and down a bunch before the Billboard charts drop. And the reason why I say pretty good number is because that would be the most that he sold in the first week. Not by much though, like his earlier works made like 170,000 a week, 180,000 a week. Honestly, I can see this album selling 700 to 800,000 units in total, but only time's gonna tell on that. And lastly, Jay-Z was announced to be the executive producer for the video game, NBA 2K13. And this is the first I've ever heard of this kind of shit, because executive producing is more than doing the damn soundtrack in which that's what they saying he did. See, they're saying that he helped in a whole lot of non-gameplay aspects, like all of the menus, like the intro-outro videos. And of course, he selected the soundtrack, and you can tell that he selected the soundtrack because there's a whole lot of Jay-Z in it. And I figure if you're in the position of power to do that, fuck it. Go ahead and make a fucking commercial for your albums. But this is huge though, man, because it does open up opportunities for rappers to go more into video games. And with video games, always are going to fucking sell. But anyway, this was another industry top.